Hey guys, this is Number Ward, and this is episode five, I believe, of Computer Craft. And in this episode, we're going to be doing door locks. And this is just a normal setup here. I've just got, just place the computer, place the door, press play on the inside, so you don't have to press it going out because you're already in. So it'd be kind of pointless. Um, so yeah, there's no programs on this computer, yet, and I'm gonna add some. Okay, because you want it to always perform this, you want to make it called startup. So there we are, startup. Um, okay, so here's where the code's going to be. So first of all, you're going to put username uh, equals, and then you want speech marks and whatever the username wants to be. Uh, I'm just going to call it. Uh, Number one warlord. There we are. Uh, password. Um, I know cheese. There we are. Um, okay, so I'm going to give it a console, a uh, title. So I'll just say cheese factory. Or something. Okay. Um, then I'm just going to do print like that, and that'll just go down line. And then I'm going to use write because this says something, but it doesn't go down line. So I'm going to put user name uh, colon space. Yeah. Uh, wait. There we are. Actually, one thing I forgot. I want to put a uh, term dot clear. That just clears the screen. Um, so write username. And now we're going to make a different variable. This is different. It's just going to be user instead of username. Equals um, read. And then you write write. So this is again doesn't go down line. Just it does a nicer layout. Um, password colon like that, and we'll call this pass again. This is a different variable to the one above. Uh, read and because it's password and say your friend might um, click on the computer while you type in your password, you can do this. So it will cut typing in as stars, but it will still work. Okay, I'm going to go down line, just space it out a bit better. Um, do an if statement. If username is now in Lua, use double um, equals signs if you're comparing it to another variable, whereas one equals sign if you're uh, declaring it as a variable. So because I'm comparing it to a different variable, just so username is double equals to user and if password is double equals to pass then um, print welcome and then you want to do redstone dot set output to the right um, true and then you want to wait so this is while the door is closing give them five seconds to get in the door before the door closes um, redstone dot set output left false So this is going to open the door for five seconds and then close after you. And then else, so this is if they get the password or username wrong. Um, print. Nope. And that's end if. Well, you just put end. And then what you want to do is after you type it in correctly or if you type it in false 
i.e. you've got it wrong then you want it to sleep this is just so you can read the message let's say 1.5 seconds to read the welcome or the nope and then you want OS operating system um, shut down and yeah actually I'll just go over this so username that's what you're setting username and password as term clear clear the screen that's just the title this is uh, how you get them to input the values for these two variables um, this is comparing if it's correct then say welcome open door for five seconds else just say nope or access denied or whatever um, and after either they've got access or they haven't then you want it to sleep five seconds so they can read the message and then shut down uh, so control save control exit so because it's called startup I will restart the computer cheese factory username number one warlord password was cheese welcome door opens for five seconds then closes and the computer's gone off and I can just walk back in with the pressure plate but if they get one the wrong so I'll put number one warlord but then I'll put something else that's wrong I say nope and then wait 1.5 seconds and then it'll turn off and they can't get in now there is one problem with this um, I don't know how to fix this I th I'm sure there's a way um, if you know then help me well write in the comments um, because if someone presses Control T, it will terminate it, and then they could just type any command in, and yeah, and and they can get in. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a way of fixing this. So if anyone would like to comment or a video response. A video response would be more helpful for the people because you're able to see it easily easier. So but comment should be okay. So anyway, that's the door lock. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. <laughs>